what we're announcing is the Alapa Party will be writing tomorrow uh, to the broadcasters and to Ofcom, uh, pointing out that there's every reason for our inclusion in the campaign debates and indeed in a proper parity of campaign coverage. Uh, now, our reasoning is this, that under a week ago, we launched this party. Uh, the reason we'll be writing to the electoral authorities and to the broadcasters tomorrow is that I'm confident that at some point tomorrow, the membership of the Alaba Party will overtake that of the Liberal Democrats, uh, one of those who are regarded as a mainstream political party. Uh, that is an important criteria on which the broadcasters who judge uh, uh, the participation in the debates and also the campaign coverage. Uh, as you know, we've uh, launched our 32 candidates. Uh, these candidates include 18 women, 14 men, seven serving councillors, elected councillors, six current or former parliamentarians, three BME candidates, three candidates with disabilities, two serving members of parliament, one Gaelic speaker, one former champion boxer, and one former first minister. Uh, the point about that list is the strength and diversity of the 32 candidates we're fielding the length and breadth for Scotland uh, demonstrate that already, after less than a week since launch, we are a national party putting up a serious challenge and, and can argue that we've got a, a significant following already and are going to get much more if we're given a, a fair shout in the television debates. In terms of the arguments, I, I tuned in uh, to the leaders' debate on, I think it was Tuesday night. Uh, and I would say that in terms of fairness in the broadcasting rules, uh, if independence is, and it should be, a dominating issue in this election campaign, uh, then, of course, it seems to me that there should be a parity of those arguing for independence and a parity of those arguing against independence. We'll be pointing out to the broadcasters the Alaba's uh, stance for independence as the independence party on the regional list ballot, the people more likely to, to build that supermajority for independence, uh, gives a, a parity of debate in terms of free people arguing against independence and, of course, free people arguing for independence. So if, as most people accept, that independence for Scotland is a dominating issue in the campaign, it's going to be one of the the key discussions as the campaign proceeds, uh, then of course it will be to everyone's convenience and indeed to fairness and justice if we have free people arguing for it in the debates and free people arguing against it in the debates.